welcome back to my channel guys so on today's episode of address it before we proceed please subscribe like and comment and share my channel it's so i have first truly Amanda and Violet and we are here to talk about men with potential we'll be right back Who's a man with potential? So, in my opinion, a man with potential is somebody who, you know, I mean, he hasn't gotten where he wants to be or he's not there yet, but mm -hmm. in the process, with all his efforts, would you date a man with potential? So, to you, who is a man with potential? Um, a man with potential, I think it is what you said that you he hasn't got everything right now but you can see that he's got a plan he's got a vision he's put things into place um to get where he wants to be <laughs> yeah what about you violet someone ambitious someone with a plan like amanda and yourself said someone who can like someone who also tells you about his plans you know there's some you can there's some there's some people with potential you see it, but there's, it's even better when someone even tells you about it. His plans, his goals. Mm -hmm. um, you can see that there's a future. There's a future with this person, and you're willing to take the chance, whether it be financially helping him out, like putting your everything to make it work for him. You know, because you know it's gonna benefit the both of you. Yeah. Hopefully, in the end, if he sticks to his word. Um, I understand that's important. Yes, I think. For everybody, it's good to have standards. Mm. Imagine just going out dating, you just don't have any standards. You just go for any problem they can have you. Yeah. I have standards. More importantly, when you know your value, also, you yeah. know, going into a relationship, dating this potential guy, and knowing your value, what you also want for the, from the relationship, you know. I think the same to you. I mean, on the kind of pedestal you place yourself. Yeah. That's the kind of people you're going to attract. Him. What if he is broke? If he is broke, What's broke, without a plan, without goals, without ambitions, I ain't being with you. I'm sorry. But what's broke? No money to. No, like broke is broke. No, I'm trying to understand the word. No, listen, because for us, yeah, how you know how how much we make, okay? Mm -hmm. And then if someone comes and he earns half of what we make now, okay. is that broke? Okay. In your circle. He would be broke, but to me himself, he's okay. I mean, we don't make millions. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, yeah. So to I think to some to your to your level, he is broke. But or would you still yeah. date him or not? Because oh, I know. Like, if he has the potential. Exactly, okay. potential. <laughs> yeah, and there are some people who are just comfortable, yeah. and they feel oh. like this is what I have, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, you know. So yeah, take me or take I it or leave like it. it. Yeah. I, like, I, I, mm -hmm. I don't know. If yeah. you if you earn half of what I earn. But you've got plans, you pot yeah. your potential, you've you've got a you've got ambitions and stuff. Then why not? Yeah. I'll I'll stick by you. I'll even help you out. But with lunch money. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think I think I love it. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so been there, done that. <laughs> oh my god, no, but yes. Uh, I think some men feel like like you said, I'm here. This is me, so take mm. it. This you, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this, but you could do better. Is that the same for when, you know, when guys, they meet girls at the club and whatever, and they form a relationship from that. But when you've met this girl, she dresses a certain way, she does this a certain way, and now you're trying to level her up, let's say, like trying to show her like, you know, there's, there's a different way of dressing, there's a different way of doing stuff, but she doesn't want to. You could have gone to church to get the one in the full dressed clothes. <clears throat> You decided to go to the club. Mm -hmm. There are still some more decent dressed ones than the one you saw. You decide to pick this one up. This is the package now you're dealing with. Exactly. It. Could it get any better? Yes. Is she willing to do it? No. Then. Mm -hmm. Could it get any better? Yes. Is she willing to do it? Yes. Then you take it from there. But if she says no, no, are red flags to be ignored? No. No. Absolutely not. Are <laughs> red flags? Guys, they are there for a reason. 
because what you use, what you accept now is what will come to stay exactly and the same red flags you're ignoring now is what is going to push you into signing those divorce papers five ten mm. years from now human beings we are not chameleons we don't change just because we, we spotted a new color when a new environment so i'm going to change him you can't change him mm. unless he's willing to change himself mm. i don't know why women we always think we can change people or even men we also think we can change ourselves. sometimes it can be done but it depends on that person. It can't be done. Like that, but it does depend yeah, on like that Anna person. Yeah, like Amma said, yeah, if he's willing, if he's willing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe let's talk, let's, let's talk about the small things that, uh, that can be changed. Sometimes small things people are just unnecessarily like, annoying about. Say you get a guy that's not used to calling, but is more texting or like these yeah, small, like that. you know? And then you see him actually trying. Would that be a red flag? If he doesn't like to call, the moment you moment you two get too comfortable maybe let's say you're, you are done with all the <laughs> mm. everything is like out on the table it will start it will start becoming you call too much you disturb me mm. it's not going to be i'm changing for you trust me it will start being why are you calling me you called me yesterday or you called me three days ago so now you must call me every day every second yes yeah. but at least once a day yeah mm. once a day yeah that's a potential it's a we're not picking on you, eh? but just we're just telling you what we want. That's yeah. Mean. Financial stability, not a financial stability, but not a millionaire. Mm-hmm. Every step of the way, so that when he makes it, there was that woman, me, behind it all. The Michelle Obama. Yes, supporting <laughs> him. But why is he financially unstable? Maybe these not. things. I just need to know maybe, these things. As you <laughs> said, maybe sometimes he's trying. For example, he's trying to start a business. Mm-hmm. He put all his money in the business. Mm-hmm. The business didn't quite work out. Okay. Right? But then, so now he's broke. Mm-hmm. So he's back to square one. So now he needs to work another plan. Wait, 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 wait. What's that Tyler Perry movie that brought us so much controversy? Acrimony! Acrimony! Yes! Acrimony! Yeah. Acrimony. When they met, we're kids. They yeah. built everything together. I'm not going to ask Chris at 40 before we have a whole <laughs> that's off topic. But that's a potential man. Yeah. yeah. You see, I mean he has his flaws. But that's you see, you could see he's working towards something. Mm. Like he is working towards something. And he did achieve it. That's someone who's not financially stable. So if you have the finances to support him and hold him down, are you going to do this? Like she did. Which she course. did, but who the way it turns out. So now it's like your because we you're humans, gambling. yeah, you're gambling, guys. It's, wow. it's, it's, it could work, it could not. But I always say, walk out of every situation being the better person, knowing that you tried your best, you did your best, I tried to help you out, mm. and let that other person be guilty. Look at his track record. Track record, what do you mean? His stats, how much he's done to get where he claims he mm. wants to get to where he is right now. What is the so where did he start from to get where he is now, and then what's he going to be back to? Yes, mm. and he's comparing if he's million years because there, there are a lot of men who will say, um, Oh, yeah, in the future, I intend to be a businessman and I intend to oh, yeah. build it's it. All talk, yes, all and talk, I intend to but do that. nothing, no, no sign of it. He gets the least amount of money, he's in the pub drinking, yeah. blowing bottles, buying tables he can't afford by tomorrow. He has to go and borrow money to come and pay. He's borrowed money to buy a car, the most expensive car, he cannot even fuel it. He's borrowing other money to. If that's your track record what shows your potential you are not a potential I'm not, I'm you are a verbally potential person you are not effort potential mm. you're not dating me eh. and one more thing so you having a potential man coming in and you like you said like we do we're good you mean we as in us yes like now you're in a good oh, place like you, like you said someone lower than you mm. oh do you think that's going to affect anything like just because you're stable everything going on perfect do you think that's going to affect anything like when he be intimidated once that that's his problem though like, yeah yeah but guys do get like that where they feel yeah they do feel they do, they do. Yeah, for sure. yeah. yeah but then they sh- like for from us women i'd like to believe the fact that you're with him shows that you genuinely want to be with him like yeah. you know you you're not intimidated like he should not when she said this. feel intimidated when you are with someone slightly below you financially emotionally because the woman genuinely wants to be mm. with you when she is with someone, let me say richer, very rich, stable, she is a gold digger. 
See how it's oh. easily turns around to yeah. become oh, yeah. this. Oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah. I accept him. Like, oh, yeah, she she's stable. She has everything. And she really loves I mean, that means she really, really loves him. Ticked. When he's stable, he's rich. Oh, she's with him for the money. Yeah. She is. If not, why, why would yeah. she really choose him or want to be with him? Mm-hmm. I mean, have you seen her? It yeah. is really hard, though, like being a woman and having, for example, like even having um, standards. Oh. You know, and they're like, oh, but you're so you're so uptight. You know, you think you're better than everybody or mm-hmm. something. Like mm-hmm. lower your standard. Like calm down. You know, it's not fair. Why why am I not allowed to say, oh, I want a guy that's, you know, that's that's ambitious. That you know, he, he drives at least. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, standards. Oh, I do. I'm not attracted to people younger than me. Maybe in the future it might change. Who knows? But my first one, you can't be younger than me in two years. You should have something going. I mean, at this age, the next thing is going to be kids. So after we enjoy life for a while. But now you do get younger guys who are actually doing big things. You know? yeah. Would you then date him? Mm. Age is a very. Then the moment. See, but so why age is age? not. So why age? Why well, basically put it this way for you? Yeah, as much as we're even dating mature men, see how they behave sometimes. Exactly. No so if you do meet someone who's younger and he's mature. He's got everything, he's got his own house, he's got a car, he's got a good job. Would you then say no because you're younger than because me? Because you're younger than me, no. It's the maturity. Uh, if, if the maturity is What is in, mature? What, what okay, is yeah. mature? <laughs> What's like you're saying. So the moment I'm going to go in somebody younger, then he he should keep up then. He has to act mature. Okay, if so if he does. If he does. It's not about willing. If he, but if whatever he like is, that. he's done, he's made in life, he's he's good. He's got there everything. There are few made in life who are still... So if he's younger and then he's going okay, to so be mature. Sure. Okay, then, let's say he's yeah. Like so, I'm, would you blame that because of his age, or would you blame yeah. that because of certain? Then it's the bad part. Like he's childish, but he has money. I can't come and babysit you. I don't want. No, I don't but, want. But you get older men who are childish. Who That's act, not exactly my problem. Even the older ones are childish. Exactly. So what do you want? How much for the ones I'm what, Well, who are you gonna date? Because clearly, if, okay, let me put it this way then: if he's younger and he's mm. acting matured. We're in business. Mm. I just wouldn't date a younger guy because I just I don't know. I've just it's the age. I just wouldn't feel comfortable dating a younger guy. It's not because he's immature. It's mm. this, I just it's the fact that he's just younger, like and it makes me seem like because he's just younger. Like I just I just want someone even if he's a year older, then that's perfect. Yeah. So after all that, so I'm with happy. age comes experience, kind of a thing. More like my thing. When there's just an exception, and you 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 can see when you meet a potential guy who's totally an exception. He's Younger, mm-hmm. he's younger than you, but he's like it. You can really tell. You can tell with all his efforts and his yeah. gestures. Mm. So maybe that would be the only exception where I would be willing to date someone. Else. So before we sign out, we discovered that there are three things that are the hardest to say in this world. Three things. So the first one is sorry. The second one is please help me. Mm. And the third one is the name of a source. How to pronounce this word. So ladies, how do you pronounce this word? <laughs> Why me, guys? Because even with back home, I just say Musta Force. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not even about to stress myself with this. What does it even taste like? Word. I don't actually know what to taste like. It's, it's, it's nice. It's stupid, guys. I didn't like it. It's very okay. popular back home. I used it for a cocktail and it was overdone, so I could really taste it. Oh, it, it, it yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Bloody Mary. Yes, they use it for Bloody Mary. I know how to make the drink. I don't, I've never tasted it. Mm. Worcestershire Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah. 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 Change. Change. I hear that it's not Hampshire. 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 Worcestershire sauce because they they made it originates from them, right? Yeah, Worcestershire. Yeah, Worcestershire. Yeah. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. From Worcester. Worcester. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Please learn how to pronounce the word next oh, time. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah. Worcestershire. Yeah. 
Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Try it over and out. Yeah. <laughs> and guys. We come to the end of another day. So, would you date a potential guy? Or what's your ready made man? On that note, it's bye bye. And don't Toodles. forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Adios, guys.